Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we are taking a look at the Thundercats Ultimates Mumra from Super 7. Yeah, so this is the final figure in the first wave from Super 7's new Thundercats Ultimates line. And Mumra was another figure that, of course, was released by Mattel. However, uh, if I'm remembering correctly, I think he was exclusive to the subscription. Uh, if you guys aren't aware or don't remember, back when Maddie Collector was where Mattel was selling all their collector figures, they always did subscriptions where you basically had to order an entire year's worth of figures at once. And for doing that, you got a bonus figure. I think Mumra was the bonus figure if you ordered the full set of Thundercats figures. Um, so it's extra special, I think, that Super 7 re-released this one because there might've been people that never got a chance to buy this one previously. So the packaging is the same. He's got the uh, shiny evil Mumra logo there on the front of the slipcover. And when we remove that, it does reveal the figure within. Of course, this is our mummy version of Mumra, not Mumra the Ever Living. So that'll be coming in a future wave. Um, but you can see it's a great looking figure. We even have like a new cloth robe in there. So you got the plastic one and a cloth one. You have interchangeable heads. We've got some new accessories. So it looks like this is gonna be a really fun figure. So let's go and get this pulled out of the packaging so we can get a closer look at everything that's included. All right, here we are with our Mumra outside of the packaging. So he is gonna be the shortest figure in this initial first wave, standing only about five and a half inches tall, since he is our short little decrepit mummy-like character. And like I've done with all of the other figures so far in this wave, we're gonna start with comparison time to stand him alongside the original Mattel release of the exact same figure from five years ago. So you can see these two standing side by side. And uh, you can see there's quite a bit of a difference between the painted details on these guys. Uh, the Mattel one is a much darker tone overall. Uh, you know, the blue is much more muted. The red is much more of a deep red and it's got some black kind of shading worked into it as well. Even the mummy wraps and everything there are just an overall darker tone. The Super 7 one is very bright by comparison. Uh, you know, it does have that shading still, you can see on the cape or the cloak there, uh, but it is a very, very bright red. And then his skin tone is like a bright baby blue, as opposed to this more like dead-like skin dark tone that we've got on the Mattel release. Um, so I gotta say, I think I prefer the darker tones myself. I don't know, maybe you will prefer the more vibrant color scene on the Super 7 one, but that definitely seems to be the biggest difference here. Now, the other thing that really stands out is the Mattel version included this open cape, this open plastic cape here. Um, the Super 7 one does not. Instead, the Super 7 one comes with a brand new cloth cloak. So we're going to look at that here in just a second as well. So let's go ahead and talk about the articulation here with this guy. Now he's got this plastic robe on out of the box and obviously that's gonna limit the articulation. You're not gonna be able to pose him too much. You can see like we can only raise his left arm up so much before this gets in the way. Uh, you know, his right arm is completely covered by the cloak over here. You know, we can move his head around inside of the hood a little bit and then we can still kind of move the legs. I mean, the legs aren't hindered too much. Um, but one thing is we can remove this. So we're gonna go and do that and in order to to do it you actually have to pop the head off the ball joint there like so and then you slide the cloak off of the figure which reveals the mummified body of Mumra. Um, so that way you can really get a look at what this body looks like it's a great sculpt he's a skinny little wretched thing um, he's got all of these kind of uh, mummy bands that are kind of hanging off of him, so they're attached in several places. For example, like, he's got these ones that are attached to his arms. Now, his arms can still go straight out, and it doesn't hinder that movement at all, but they are, like, hanging down all over the place. You can see kind of loosely hanging from his body and everything there. So this is what the articulation looks like on this guy. You do have that same ball joint. Obviously, his neck is kind of hunched and sticking forward for that, like, hunched-over look, but, you know, you can still roll the head all the way around there. It sticks out a little further also because it has to stick out from behind that cloak. So that's definitely much more the way he's meant to be posed. I showed you those ball-like joints at the shoulder so the arms can move forwards and backwards. Good range of movement even though they're linked together by these mummy bands. You have a single joint at the elbow, a swivel at the elbow, swivel at the wrists, 
hinge at the wrists. Uh, there's nothing in the skinny torso here, but we can swivel at the waist. Um, and then underneath like these, this kind of like mummy band skirt here, it's like loosely like a pliable plastic there. So, you know, you've got those hinge joints at the thighs, so legs can go outwards. They can still move forwards and backwards. I will say like they don't stay in, like I can't get his legs to stay put like that. His legs always like, he's always like got this wide legged stance. I'm not sure why that is. It's like they just won't close together. Um, and then the knees, you know, you got your single bend, you got your swivel at the knee, uh, and then the ankles can move forwards and backwards as well as rock side to side. So it is a little different than what we've seen from the bigger figures, but he still basically can pull off the same types of poses. All right, let's bring in that cloth cape so we can show you guys what that looks like. Now, you're still gonna wanna take the head off in order to slide this over the neck peg, and then you can pop the head back on, and that's because he's got these bands that are supposed to be hanging over the outside of it. So this is what this cape looks like, and the cool thing about this, I will say, is that it has wire all around the outside of it here and even up in the hood. So this is kind of cool because you can actually pose the cape for some pretty nice poses. Now, this material is very, very bright red. I mean, it matches the bright red basically seen on that. And uh, there's no, you know, there's no tears or anything like that. It's just a nice, clean, bright red robe. So, um, you know, I've always been somebody who I go back and forth on if I like soft goods on my toys or not. This looks okay. I think I would prefer using the plastic one for displaying him with the cloak down. But this is good if you want to do like some big open poses. Like maybe if you want Mumra as if he's about to transform, you know, d transforming this decayed body to Mumra the Ever-Living. Because you could kind of, you know, bend the cape like outwards so it looks like it's flying in the wind and uh, matching that up with some of the accessories, you'll actually be able to get some pretty cool poses with it. So, you know, I think a lot of the action figure photographers out there will be able to do some really cool things with this wired cloak. So he does come with a couple of interchangeable hands. Basically, you can see both versions he's got right here. He's got gripping hands and he's got these open hands. So you've got two, you know, two gripping hands and two open hands for each. You can easily swap those out just like with all the other Thundercats by pulling them out of the socket there. You can take it, pop it in place. There you go, just like that. It clips in place pretty good. And then we do also have a brand new alternate head. So again, let's pop this off the ball joint and bring in this alternate head, uh, which I really love because he's got like that open mouth there. This is gonna be great for like those screaming poses or, you know, got those cape blowing poses, your transformation into Mumra, the ever, ever living. Um, I think that's really great. It's one thing that I definitely love about the new figures are the new alternate heads. I think that that's a really nice inclusion to give you some different display options here. Okay, so this Mumra comes with a whole bunch of accessories just like we've seen from everybody else. So first of all, he's got the cool little Ram Skull type staff. You know, if you had the vintage action figure, this is super familiar to you. You know exactly what this is. So here, let me get the gripping hand. Let me pop it back on the figure here. It's worth noting that his gripping hands have the hinge joints where the hands move up and down instead of inwards and outwards. Um, but yeah, you can get the gripping hand to hold on to that staff there, just like so. Uh, and I love that because again, really reminds me of the vintage Mumra action figure. In addition to that, we've got a couple of other fun little accessories that are like artifacts. So first of all, we've got this little necklace. Now this is the Rosencrantz medallion, straight out of the animated series. You can see it's got a little Z on there for the character Zax, which is who this belonged to. Um, so, you know, I always think it's fun getting neat little artifacts for the longtime fans who know this things like the cartoons. Um, you know, you can put it on Mumra if you want to, but it's a fun little inclusion there. We also have the urn, the uh, Thundranium urn, which is really nice. Like, I really like the paint deco on it. It's nicely detailed, so that's a fun little accessory as well. We also have a different paint deco on the Book of Omens. This one's got a dark brown motif as opposed to the gold one that came with lion -O, but it is the exact same sculpt as that. And then we've got the Sword of Plundera, uh, or just the hilt, you know, without the blades. Uh, extracted, uh, but it is just like this really cool snake-like motif. It is metallic gold. He can hold on to that with his gripping hands as well. So you've got all these fun little accessories to really plus out your Mumra action figure. 
All right, guys, it's comparison time. Just for fun, I like standing these alongside the vintage figures from LJN, just so you can see the difference between those original action figures and the brand new ones from Super 7. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new Mumra action figure from Thundercats Ultimates Wave 1. All in all, this is a pretty solid figure. Um, like I said earlier, the original one was exclusive if you subscribed, so I think a lot of people missed out on the original Mumra, so this does give you the opportunity to get them. Plus, he's got a bunch of new accessories. Um, the cloth cape is fun. I mean, I've been able to pull off some pretty neat poses with it. I do like it. I'm still trying to decide which one I would rather display him with because I do tend to like the plastic cloaks a little bit better, especially when you've got like hooded cloaks because... You know, the cloth ones, I don't know, they're hit or miss. Now, the wires are great. I think it's great that we've got the wires because we can really pose it around there. He does have some really fun accessories. His paint deco is very bright, and I think I prefer the more drab colors of the Mattel version. But all in all, he's still a really nice action figure. And uh, if you're a fan of Mumra, you missed out on him before, this is a great opportunity to pick him up and add him to your collection. So that completes wave one of Thundercats Ultimates. Now, Super 7 offer these by pre-order only. That's how they sell all of their Ultimates figures. But the good news is that you can still order these right now at some of the online stores like Big Bad Toy Store and Megalopolis for the same price they were originally sold by Super 7. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.